long standing diabetes can actually damage the nerves in the feet especially it starts from the feet and this damage to the nerves can lead to a uh, loss of sensation and the patient can actually hit a wall or he can uh, stamp on a hot cigar or something so a small wound is created so this small wound does not cause him pain so he will keep on neglecting the wound and neither he will reach the doctor then this wound becomes a big devil how does it become a big devil because his glucose level is high and the microorganisms get into the wound and they flourish very well not only these microorganisms there are two categories of microorganisms which can flourish very well in the high glucose levels one is called the oxygen dependent the other is non oxygen dependent so oxygen dependent organisms can be cured somewhat easily whereas the non oxygen dependent organisms which we call it as anaerobes so we cannot destroy them easily with the regular antibiotics the complications become more finally the wound starts becoming bigger and bigger and at that junction the only treatment we are left with the present technology is hyperbaric oxygen therapy high partial pressure oxygen therapy and then the wound can be healed and still they have to control their blood sugar level in the long run again after the wound is healed if this treatment fails or if the person cannot undergo this treatment the next thing which can become a complicated issue is the feet has to be amputated so that is the ultimate choice what they can land up with but now we have got something new technology which is cost effective portable and this is a new technology is called warm oxygen therapy which we brand it as velox the instrument name is velox what we do is we heat up the oxygen and then we subject it as a local treatment for the wound this sterile bag which is filled with oxygen has got a micro environment wherein the oxygen concentration is uh, almost 96% surrounding the wound we call it as micro environment and above that uh, first bag there is another big bag which will increase the temperature of the limb so that there are many advantages related to this mechanism one is the blood supply to that limb limb or the leg is increased so whatever the antibiotics or the drugs we give that is delivered better to the wound side and the oxygen will destroy the anaerobic organisms and the wound healing rate is enhanced due to artificial inflammation so ultimately this warm oxygen therapy which we are giving by the new instrument called the velox will help the wound to heal almost in par with the hyperbaric oxygen treatment modality so it's a boon for the all the diabetic patients even if they reach a stage of a wound stage this will help them to get rid of these wounds at a much earlier time and also with a cost effective manner i mean with a less cost they can get the wound healed up and they can prevent the amputation and they can lead a normal social life unless they control the sugar levels nothing can be cured so the first primary aim of this uh, uh, therapy of uh, diabetes is controlling blood sugar level and lifestyle modification and getting screened in the right time and if at all complications happen uh, reach this velox and get the wound healed at a earlier stage so that uh, amputations can be completely avoided